When you take just one bite of white bread, it might feel like the simplest thing in the world, but inside your body, it sets off a surprisingly complex and powerful chain reaction that can affect your health far more than you might expect. White bread is made from refined flour, which is flour that has gone through heavy processing. In this refining process, the outer bran and inner germ of the wheat kernel are stripped away, leaving behind only the starchy endosperm. While this makes the bread softer, fluffier, and able to last longer on the shelf, it removes almost all of the fiber, many essential vitamins, important minerals, and plant-based compounds that help your body regulate digestion and blood sugar. What you're left with is basically concentrated starch. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Daya Salon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. As soon as you chew and swallow, the process of digestion begins rapidly because there is little fiber or resistance in the bread to slow things down. Enzymes in your saliva, like amylase, immediately start breaking down the starch into smaller sugar molecules. And when the bread reaches your small intestine, more enzymes finish the job, quickly converting those carbohydrates into glucose. This glucose is then absorbed through the lining of your intestine and enters your bloodstream almost immediately, causing blood sugar levels to rise sharply. Because white bread has such a high glycemic index, the effect is very similar to eating candy or even a spoonful of straight sugar. To your body, that bite of bread is not a slow, nourishing carbohydrate. It's a fast injection of glucose fuel, delivered in a way that your system has to handle very quickly and aggressively. Your body cannot allow glucose to stay too high in the blood for long because high blood sugar is toxic to tissues if left uncontrolled. To manage this sudden spike, your pancreas, which sits just behind your stomach, immediately starts to release insulin. Insulin is a vital hormone that acts almost like a master controller, giving your cells the green light to absorb glucose and use it as energy or store it away for later. After that bite of white bread, the rush of glucose triggers a surge of insulin release. In the short term, this helps bring blood sugar levels down. But if these kinds of spikes and surges happen regularly, your pancreas has to keep pumping out more and more insulin to keep up. Over months and years, the repeated demand can cause your cells to stop responding properly to insulin signal, a state called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance means that your cells ignore insulin even when it's present. So glucose remains in the bloodstream instead of entering the cells. This forces your pancreas to release even more insulin in an attempt to get the job done. Eventually, this cycle can lead to type 2 diabetes, a condition where blood sugar levels remain chronically high because insulin no longer works efficiently. Even though one single bite may not seem like much, it triggers the exact same biological pathways as a full slice or multiple slices. Each bite is like pressing a small pedal on a system that, when pressed too often, eventually wears out. So while the damage doesn't happen instantly, the process you see from that one bite is the same process that builds up into bigger problems if repeated day after day. Another crucial part of the story is how white bread affects hunger and appetite, which is why it's so sneaky in the way it contributes to overeating. Because white bread digests very quickly, your blood sugar rises sharply, but then falls just as sharply once insulin kicks in. This steep drop in blood sugar, often called a sugar crash, can happen within an hour or two of eating. When your blood sugar dips, you may feel tired, sluggish, irritable, or even shaky. Your brain, which depends heavily on glucose as its primary fuel, interprets this dip as a signal that you need more food right away. This is why, after eating white bread or other refined carbs, you may find yourself hungry again very soon, even though you just ate. It's not just physical hunger, it's also cravings, often for more sugar or more carbs, to quickly raise blood sugar back up. This cycle of spike, crash, and craving can lead you to eat more calories throughout the day without realizing it. Over time, this pattern encourages overeating and weight gain particularly belly fat, which is strongly linked to insulin resistance and diabetes risk. Fiber, which is mostly removed from white bread, is the natural component that normally slows digestion, helps you feel fuller, 
and stabilizes blood sugar. Without fiber, the starch rushes through your system too fast, leaving you with that roller coaster effect. This is why eating white bread regularly can make it so hard to control appetite, body weight, and ultimately long-term metabolic health. For people who already have prediabetes or diabetes, this situation becomes even more dangerous. In those cases, the body either does not produce enough insulin or does not respond to it effectively, meaning blood sugar stays elevated for much longer after a meal. Even a small piece of white bread or even a bite can cause blood sugar to climb higher than it should and stay there for hours. This is not just a number on a meter. It has real consequences inside the body. High blood sugar is like syrup in the bloodstream. It's sticky and thick, and it can damage the lining of blood vessels over time. This damage makes it easier for cholesterol to build up, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Nerves can also be damaged by high blood sugar, leading to pain, tingling, or numbness in the hands and feet. The kidneys, which filter your blood, can become overworked and start to fail. The delicate blood vessels in the eyes can be harmed, leading to vision problems or even blindness. These are the long-term complications of poorly controlled diabetes, and they all begin with frequent, repeated spikes in blood sugar from foods like white bread. What might feel like a harmless bite to satisfy your taste buds is actually contributing to this damaging process in people whose bodies already struggle to control glucose. That's why doctors and nutritionists emphasize avoiding or minimizing refined carbs when managing diabetes, because even small amounts make a difference. It's also important to understand that insulin and glucose aren't the only things being affected by that bite of bread. Your entire hormonal balance gets pulled into the process in ways most people don't even realize. When you eat refined carbs like white bread, your body doesn't just handle sugar and insulin in isolation. After the sharp spike in blood sugar, your body orchestrates a cascade of hormonal shifts to try and restore balance. Insulin is the star player, but other hormones like glucagon, ghrelin, leptin, and even cortisol are also influenced by what just entered your system. Let's start with glucagon. Think of glucagon as insulin's counterpart. It has the opposite job. While insulin lowers blood sugar by moving glucose into cells, glucagon raises blood sugar by signaling the liver to release stored glucose when levels get too low. After you eat white bread, the fast spike in blood sugar is followed by a steep drop. When that drop comes, glucagon may overcompensate, nudging blood sugar back upward, and this back and forth creates even more instability inside your body. It's almost like a tug of war happening behind the scenes, with your body struggling to find balance. Now let's talk about ghrelin, often called the hunger hormone, even though you've consumed calories, your body doesn't fully recognize it, and hunger signals come roaring back much earlier than they should. Leptin, the hormone responsible for long-term regulation of appetite and fat storage, can also become disrupted when diets are consistently high in refined carbs. Over time, repeated blood sugar spikes and crashes can cause leptin resistance, where the brain stops responding properly to leptin signal to stop eating. This means your brain might think you're starving even when your fat stores are more than adequate. Cortisol, the stress hormone, also gets involved. Blood sugar fluctuations are stressful to the body, and cortisol can rise as part of that stress response, making you crave even more quick energy foods like bread, chips, and sweets. The end result of all these hormonal shifts is a frustrating loop where your body urges you to eat more, even though you've already taken in plenty of calories. It's not just about willpower or personal choice. Your hormones are literally pushing you toward overeating because of how refined carbs hijack the system. On a bigger scale, the problem with white bread connects to a much larger issue. Modern food processing and how it has radically changed the way humans eat compared to the way we evolved to eat. For thousands of years, people consumed grains in their whole form, either cracked, stone ground, or cooked with the bran, germ and endosperm intact. This meant that every bite of grain came with fiber, natural oils, vitamins, minerals, and plant compounds that helped regulate how the body absorbed and used those carbs. These whole forms of grains digested more slowly, providing a steady release of glucose into the bloodstream, which kept blood sugar stable and the energy levels even. But everything changed in the late 1800s with the invention of the industrial roller mill. 
This machine made it possible to separate the bran and germ from the endosperm on a massive scale, producing flour that was very fine, very white, and much longer lasting because the natural oils that caused spoilage were removed. This gave us the fluffy, soft white bread that became a staple in homes around the world. On the surface, this seemed like progress. Bread was lighter, tastier, and cheaper. But biologically, it created a mismatch between what our bodies were designed to process and what we were suddenly consuming every day. Our digestive systems are not built to handle such rapid floods of glucose over and over. The body thrives on steady, slow energy, but industrially processed white flour delivers the opposite. Fast, overwhelming energy spikes followed by crashes. When you think about the timeline of human history, white bread is incredibly new. For tens of thousands of years, our ancestors lived on foods that took effort to chew, digest, and metabolize. Whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and proteins delivered energy slowly and came packaged with natural fibers and nutrients that acted as buffers. Then, in less than 200 years, a blink of an eye in evolutionary terms, white bread and refined carbs became daily staples. This sudden dietary shift helps explain why rates of obesity, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes have soared worldwide. White bread itself isn't inherently poison or something that will cause instant harm after one bite, but it symbolizes this dramatic mismatch between human biology and the modern food environment. So what can you do with this knowledge? The good news is that the body responds positively to better choices, often very quickly. If you replace white bread with whole grain bread or other slow digesting carbs like oats, quinoa, or brown rice, you immediately change the way your blood sugar responds. Glucose enters more gradually, insulin is released in smaller, steadier amounts, and energy lasts longer without the crashes. Pairing carbs with protein or healthy fats, like eating bread, with eggs, avocado, nut butter, or lean meat, also slows digestion and stabilizes blood sugar. Even small changes, like switching half your bread intake to whole grains, can make a measurable difference over time. It's not about never eating bread again, but about being mindful of the type and frequency. Every time you choose a whole food over a refined food, you're lowering the burden on your pancreas, keeping your hormones balanced, and protecting yourself from insulin resistance. Think of it like choosing a smooth, steady ride instead of a roller coaster. The journey is calmer, safer, and healthier for your body. So when you ask, what happens after just one bite of white bread? The true answer is much bigger than it first appears. That bite sets off a rapid rise in blood sugar, a surge of insulin, and a hormonal ripple effect that influences your appetite, your energy, and your long-term metabolic health. For someone without diabetes, it may just feel like a temporary boost followed by a slump. But repeated over time, it increases the risk of insulin resistance. For someone with diabetes, even a small bite can push blood sugar to harmful levels and contribute to long-term complications. That one bite is a window into the broader pattern of how refined foods affect our bodies. It's a small sample of the larger metabolic challenge we face in the modern food environment. Understanding this doesn't mean you need to panic over every piece of bread, but it does give you the power to make choices that support your health instead of undermining it. Every bite you take is part of a story you are writing about your long-term health, and the more those bites come from whole, unrefined foods, the better that story will be.